Kia ora, welcome back, I'm the Kiwi Coder and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create uh, new types of motions using drivers uh, in your animation rigs. Uh, you, so you can see here when I pull this uh, this lever forward it raises the heel of the character uh, but when I push this lever down uh, now the toe starts raising up and what's going on underneath the hood is uh, there's actually two driver bones here and when I rotate this one here it's, uh, it's controlling the rotation of this, this bone but when I uh, rotate it in this direction then it uh, controls the rotation of this bone and there is still like a master bone here where I can grab the foot and move it around and I can also rotate this one and the whole system is sort of parented uh, to this bone still. Cool, um, so yeah this is just going to be a really quick lesson on an introduction into drivers and blender and how you could uh, possibly use them in your own rigs. So let's get into it. This video follows on from a previous video of Maze, the uh, foot rigging and blender using IK constraints. So in the scene here, um, I have a foot with a simple rig setup where I can rotate this bone to lift the heel and I can rotate this bone to lift the toe. But what I actually want is just a single bone that does both of those actions rather than having to um, switch between the two. This will make it a lot easier uh, when animating and also when you're trying to mirror uh, your animations across to the other foot. Um, it's Sometimes it's better to have a single bone that can uh, do two motions. Um, so the way that I'm going to do that is uh, basically use drivers to um, drive the rotation of this bone and drive the rotation of this bone from a third bone and uh, so basically what the end product will be is when I lift the bone this way the heel lifts as it is now but when I push it down this way um, the toe actually comes off the ground instead and the heel stays planted and uh, yeah so we need to create a third bone for that so if we just go into edit mode before I create the third bone I'm just going to uh, move these bones sort of uh, out the way and just make them <clears throat> a little bit smaller because they're not actually going to be important. These bones are just used as drivers and we're not actually going to be animating or using them uh, by hand at all. So I just sort of want to make them a bit smaller so they're a bit more insignificant. Um, so yeah actually the next step is uh, just create this uh, third bone <clears throat> and uh, clear the parent on that one as well. It will be apparented to a master bone uh, eventually, but for now you can clear the parent. And uh, so if I rotate this bone backwards, you can, let me just switch to XYZ Eula. You can see that the, um, the X rotation is negative, and if I bring it down this way, the X rotation is positive. So if I apply the positive rotation from this bone, to the positive rotation on this bone, that will have the effect of uh, raising the toe when I pull this uh, down. And vice versa, when I bring this bone backwards, if I apply the negative rotation of this bone to the, uh, the positive rotation of this bone, then that will have the effect of lifting the heel up. So if we just start with this one, It'll be a little bit easier. <clears throat> um, so to create a driver, you just select the bone and then select the property where you want to create a driver and click Add Driver. Now this uh, this pop-up comes up, but it's quite easy to lose if you mouse over um, mouse out of the window. So you can always just bring up the drivers window uh, just in here like that. And then if you select the bone and just open this window up a bit, you'll have all the properties that um, have drivers attached to them. And actually the only bit I'm interested in is this uh, this property window here for now. So I need to just set the, um, the armature as the object, which is the main rig where the bone that I want to drive from exists in, which is this bone here. And uh, this bone here, um, actually I forgot to give it a name. I think I was going to call it, if I call it like heel control underscore L. Now I should be able to find that in the drivers tab. Uh, select that bone again, click the, uh, the property, and now in here I can find that bone that I just called, called heel control L, and yeah currently it's taking the X location of heel control and applying that to the X rotation of this, this bone here, so I just need to change that to X rotation, and just set the space to XYZ Euler, um, 
sorry, the mode to XYZ Euler, <clears throat> and then the space to local space. Uh, that just means the rotation value will be zero at the rest position, which is uh, what we need. So the interesting bit, whoops, is um, this expression here. So yeah, if I just type in, um, basically this var, it represents the X rotation of this bone. So if I just wanna get the positive values, I can just take the maximum of the variable and zero. That way it will only turn, uh, return positive values and that will then apply it to the uh, X rotation here. So if I just hit enter, um, now you see if I pull this down, it's actually, uh, it's actually changing the rotation here, 26.2 and 26.2 which is cool i just zero that out as well <clears throat> and um so yeah that's it for this part uh, now we just need to set up a driver for this bone and this is going to be taking the negative rotation of this bone and applying it to the positive rotation of this bone so um to get the if i just create a driver um a driver i'll just do it in this window for now um but if I select the heel control bone again and again just set the X rotation um, in local space. Now to get the negative values I just take the minimum of the variable and zero and to drive it to the positive part I just need to flip that negative value to a positive one. And now if I, uh, if I rotate this forwards you can see the heel lifts and if I rotate it backwards the toe lifts which is uh, yeah, exactly what I was after. Um, we have lost some functionality though, like the ability to pick up the foot. We can pick it up using this bone here, but we can't rotate this bone anymore because it's a driver bone. So I'm going to um, create an additional bone and parent both of these to that master bone, which will act like the bone that we had before. So if I just extrude a new bone outwards here, and <clears throat> I just want to clear the parent, and now I want to assign, um, this is a parent here. Oops, not clear parent. Oh, uh, control P to assign the parent. And the same for this uh, tiny little bone in here, if I can select it. <laughs> and control P, clear, uh, assign parent, assign offset, maintain offset, whatever it's called. Cool, so now if I go back to pose mode, um, I can use this bone to drag around the whole foot like we had before. I can still rotate this bone um, if I want to rotate it manually for whatever reason. But then I can use this one just to control the, the, the heel sort of stepping uh, motion of the foot from a single bone, which um, is, is quite good. So the last bit is actually just um, hiding Hiding these two, um, these two sort of driver bones, we don't really need them anymore. So uh, you can basically just send them to some kind of trash layer like back here. And yeah, now we have it. Now this is uh, the new rig for, for the foot where we've got yeah, control over the stepping motion and we can still sort of move the foot round and uh, do all sorts of sort of other rotations if we need it as well. Cool, um, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. It's just a really simple one. Um, it's just trying to illustrate uh, how you can use drivers in your rigs in Blender. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. And if you wanna keep seeing more videos from this Blender series, uh, make sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell notification icon and give it a like if you enjoyed the video. Cool, um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you again in the next video. Ka kite.